So we're doing an imagination workshop and we're going to, I'm going to explain some of the methods of storytelling and speculative fiction, how to think about characters, plots, um, focusing in on a challenge or something in society like a feature of technology or law, economics, politics, environment, things like that, that we want to see, that we struggle with, that are kind of creating these challenges for us and try to imagine how we'd want them to be different and not, instead of going to dystopias or utopias, really try and think about like how else could it be now. Um, and they'll be given prompts and it'll become a writer's workshop, basically. That's what I'm curious to find out, like basically um, the question that you just asked, like what are the points that people do find trouble with in their community or in their city, in their country, and in the European Union, and I hope at least that comes about and people also find how it's challenging to think positively or to think what could be preferable. I think that's, that's something of our, our day, our generation, or even several generations, is a lack of imagination, lack of, I don't know if it's a lack of hope. So next May, I'll be showing here at Dopolavoro and Dopolavoro for the Capital of Culture and I'll present some film glimpses that maybe will grow out to like a much bigger storyline or maybe even several different storylines. So I want to see like what are the ideas in different places that people are facing, uh, what challenges they're facing and what ideas they might have. and. So if there are certain things that come out of this, maybe it'll be somewhat of a collaboration or use some of the ideas and credit them and make them into little filmic stories. Even if nothing comes out of it, it's, that's like where I'm going with my own stories. So if they can be woven together. This is my second day, basically, between the last time and, and today. And I see a lot of new places opening, so it looks like there's, I don't know if there's support um, for people to do things independently. Um, of course there are some big chains, but it's nice to see like a little workshop studios and creative spaces and things like that. And a lot of um, people enjoying eating out and drinking, um, so it seems like it's quite a nice life here compared to in the U.S. where people work, work, work really hard and being um, stretched if they're below a certain bracket of income. And that's not a low bracket, it's like the middle. The middle's being really hit hard with certain expenses like healthcare. So, I don't know, it seems nice here. <laughs>